Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes and Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. And today I'm going to be doing a small short bake-off between Excel Online, that's Microsoft's free online browser-based software, and Google Sheets, which is Google's free online spreadsheet software. And I've written books about both of these things, so I know a little bit about these uh, two software products, and it's actually pretty interesting to be able to compare them to see which one is better. So right now, what we're looking at is Excel Online. This is Microsoft's shiny, a very basic spreadsheet program that you can access from, I think, probably any browser. Uh, this is in uh, Firefox right now, but of course you can use it in Internet Explorer, or you can use it in Chrome, and I believe Safari as well. And if you own Excel, you know that Excel is a pretty sophisticated product. Excel Online is much more basic. I think basically this is a way that they can compete with Google Sheets, which is also free. Excel Online is free to use, although you do need a Microsoft account to get the most out of it. But the Microsoft account, to set it up, it's free. And uh, this is what it looks like. So this is a very simple spreadsheet with a chart that I have here. I believe I actually created this, this spreadsheet in the desktop version of Excel. That is Excel 2016, which I got through Office 365. But this is what it looks like when I open it up in Excel online. And one thing you'll notice if you've used Excel 2016 before or, the, or a desktop version of Excel is there's not so many of these ribbons available. I mean, this is the home ribbon, and it looks like it has a lot of features, but actually, if you compare it to the desktop version, there's not so much there. In addition, uh, if you look at some of the other ribbons and tabs that they have in Excel Online, you can see that there's just not much stuff there. For instance, the data area of Excel, the desktop version, it has many more functions than the, the handful that are shown here. So this has a sort function, for Excel Online, but there's no filter function, which is actually one of the most useful features in the desktop version of Excel. Uh, but for basic stuff, it's actually okay. So right now I have this uh, simple spreadsheet here and I have selected this column, Model A, Model B, and Model B2. If I wanted just to sum them together, just go up here, click the Auto Sum button, and then select Sum. And there you go. It's all selected. It equals 100. But if we're taking a look at the chart function, while it is possible to insert a chart, the charts are really simple. So this is a pie chart. This is about as basic as, as you can get on this. Like I can't really do much other than maybe uh, adding a title to it, um, test chart. Okay, so it added that pretty easily. But if I wanted to do any sophisticated formatting of this, I'm out of luck. Um, you know, there's just not much you can do with Excel online. Now, let's compare that to Google Sheets in a moment. And so, so here we have Excel online. You can see it's pretty basic. You have some uh, very basic formatting and some other functions here on the Home tab. You'll see, though, that there, it's missing the uh, Formulas tab. Uh, there's no contextual menus that I'm aware of. But if you go to Google Sheets, all of a sudden, you can see that there's uh, quite a bit of features there. Now, this is not the same chart. It's a little bit different. It looks a little bit more colorful. But actually, Google Sheets is a bit more sophisticated than Excel Online when it comes to charts and many other things as well. So taking a look right here, this so Google Sheets, they only have one toolbar. There's no separate tabs for reviewing or formatting or a layout or home. Everything is on the same toolbar here. So. One thing that I'd like to point out is that there's a filter built into it. Excel Online does not have a filter, but Google Sheets does. And then if you're doing things like, you know, adding things up, it's basically the same. You select the functions from the, uh, the Greek letter epsilon up, up in the upper right corner, and then you can choose some, or you can choose more functions. That's basically the same as Excel Online. Okay and then it adds it for you. But then when you're getting into more advanced stuff, as I said before, you can filter in Google Sheets. You cannot do that in Excel Online. Um, you can really format your charts. And uh, so here we have a chart here. Like if I wanted to edit part of this, it would let me right click over it and select it and make some changes. Um, let's do advanced edit. So here I could I could start to really micromanage the formatting for this particular chart. I could, for instance, select 3D. That looks pretty cool. 
you can't do that in Excel online, at least not right now. Uh, one other thing that Google Sheets has that is really powerful is the ability to create a form. You go to Tools, Create a Form, and then you can create this really awesome looking uh, form that you can customize in many ways. I've already shown how to do this in another video. If you're interested, you could look at my channel and see how it works out. Uh, but just let's say that Google Sheets is a very sophisticated form creation tool. Interestingly, Microsoft recently added a survey tool to Excel Online, but it's much more basic than the one that's in Google Sheets. Um, you can see it's still kind of rudimentary, but I think they're trying to catch up to Google Sheets in that. So that's, that's good for uh, Excel Online. And, and one other thing that's worth mentioning about Excel Online is it allows collaboration with other people, including in real time, which is, uh, it didn't have, Excel was unable to do that for a very long time, but I think Google Sheets forced the Microsoft team to really start to add collaboration features. So the live co collaboration in Excel Online I'd say it's probably on a par with Google Sheets. So that's, that's an area where the two are uh, very competitive. So that's basically an overview between Google Sheets and comparing it with Microsoft Excel Online. I'd say right now that Google Sheets is the winner here. And it's not just because it looks better and it has more functions and features, because I think Excel Online will probably catch up in that. Uh, but the, the other thing that's important to note about Google Sheets is even if you have an Excel document, you can still open it up in Google Sheets. So you don't need to open it in Excel online. If you want to, you can do it in Google Sheets. So here, this is an Excel document in, opened up in Google Sheets. It looks pretty terrible because I haven't formatted it that well. But I can do some limited editing in a, of the formatting of an Excel document that is a .xlsx or .xls document right here in Google Sheets by selecting this whole line. Right now it's bolded and it's italicized. I can change that. I can you know, do things like move the cells out. It's important to note, however, that Google Sheets, when it comes to editing in an Excel document, it doesn't do everything. It's really just basic formatting for the most part. Uh, for instance, I can't add a picture or a chart or anything like that to the Excel document in Google Sheets. So if I wanted to do something like that, I'd really have to, I would really have to use Excel Online because Excel Online does have the ability to add things like hyperlinks and pie charts or bar charts. Google Sheets can't do that for an Excel document. However, it can do it for a native Google Sheets file. So for more information on how to use Excel Online or how to use Google Sheets. I've written books about this, Excel Basics in 30 Minutes and Google Drive and Google Docs in 30 Minutes and Google Drive and Google Docs in 30 Minutes. It also covers sheets, forms, and slides. So I hope to see you soon. For more information on the books, check out in30minutes.com. Thanks so much.